Hi, I'm Scott Willison, owner of the Confluence Fly Shop in Bellingham, Washington. And today I am going to tie just another humpy fly. Uh, it is 2021 here. Uh, thankfully, no longer 2020. Uh, 2021 promises to be better. And uh, among other things, uh, it's a humpy year. We have uh, pink salmon returning to Washington waters every odd year and this is one of them so we are about to embark on tying a lot of pink flies here for the season and uh, this is kind of an old standby that uh, catches fish uh, surprise surprise pink salmon like to eat pink colored flies um, they do eat other colors as well but uh, pink is pretty hard to beat uh, so in my vise, I have a size 4 Daiichi 2546 standard saltwater hook. And uh, I have just laid down a little base of fluorescent pink 140 denier ultra thread. And we're going to put in some little eyes here. I have a size small plated or nickel plated lead eye. I want to give this fly some weight and I want it to jig up and down vertically in the water when I retrieve it and this is kind of just the right size typically your pink salmon are going to be in uh, water that isn't always terribly deep it's slow moving uh, I could fish this fly on a floating full floating line or an intermediate line um, and it'll get down just fine with these eyes. So we'll go around the base a couple of times to really make sure those don't go moving on us. And I think we're good. Go ahead and cover the rest of the shank and thread and then we'll wrap back up because we're going to start our tail um, up toward the head just to get an even underbody. I have a little tuft of uh, fluorescent pink or hot pink uh, fish hunter marabou here that we're going to use for our tail. And tail's going to be about the length of the body. We'll tie it in just kind of right behind the eyes. And then make sure we keep that on top of the hook shank by holding it up right there. And we'll wrap back over it. And there we got a nice pink tail with a lot of mobility. We're going to add a little bit of flash. Not, not a whole lot, but uh, just a couple strands of this uh, UV pink crystal flash down either side. Actually, I think we'll we'll live uh, we'll live dangerously here and go with three strands. Um, so I've cut three longish strands here. Um, I'm going to tie half of them in on the near side of the hook, and then I will come under with the other half, and we'll do the far side of the hook. These are going to be down each side of the marabou. And I'm going to trim those kind of unevenly, a little bit longer than the marabou. Now, our body is going to be another one of my favorites. This is a, a fluorescent UV uh, fuchsia polar chenille. It's good stuff. The, the hot pink works really well also. I do find that uh, depending on the river, depending on the fish, uh, some shades of pink work better at times than others. So it's worth tying this one up in a few different hues. Um, sometimes pink and white too. You can do the body with uh, UV uh, pearl polar chenille and get yourself a little bit of contrast. At some point or another, they, they all work pretty well. So, again, just like the marabou, I, t I tied that in 
kind of part way up the shank there just to help give myself an even underbody. And we'll go ahead and just wind this on forward till we're just behind the eyes. And then we'll clip that off. Now, you could be done right here. Uh, this will catch fish as well as anything else, but uh, we gotta fancy this up just a little bit. We can't make it too simple. So we're gonna put in a, a collar of uh, fluorescent pink saddle hackle. And I just stripped the, the base of the feather, all the fluffy stuff clean so I can get myself a, a nice clean handle and I've stroked some of the fibers back there this portion in here is really all that I'm gonna be using for my collar so I'll clip the tip of that off I could save that and potentially use it on a smaller fly uh, this is a size 4 uh, I also tie these in size 6 too and we'll just wind that in, wrap that in by the tip. And then kind of train our fibers back. And then we'll do a nice little collar here. Easy peasy. You don't have to get too super fancy with your pink flies. This will catch fish as well as anything. Alright, I'm just taking a few few wraps up toward the eye. There's often where that return ring eye comes in there's a little kind of sharp burr and I want to make sure I've got that sort of covered with thread so I don't inadvertently break my leader and then we are going to whip finish behind the eyes We're done. We have a very durable fly, uh, simple and inexpensive to tie. This will catch uh, pink salmon all day long and uh, will hold up to quite a few fish. So be sure to tie a few for this upcoming uh, 2021 uh, humpy season. And uh, you can find the materials for this and many other flies at the Confluence Fly Shop in Bellingham, Washington. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you on the water.